Hello, I'm Vic Lombardi and welcome to News Briefs. We're back at it again and revving it up with Klein Tools and the Andretti family. Here on News Briefs, you've got track access to the most recent race at Infineon Raceway. It's going to get loud, so get your earplugs. That plus we'll tell you about Oakland's oil independence plans, the major construction lined up in Las Vegas, and the latest Sears employees organized into the IBEW. Right here, right now, on News Briefs. History has been made in Oakland. The city is taking steps to become the first U.S. city that is oil independent, and they'll be using IBEW know-how to get there by 2020. The city is planning to cut the dependence on foreign oil by turning to experts who know the most about green energy. They're turning to the Apollo Alliance and leader Victor Uno, business manager of 595. Uno, seen here at the Alliance rally outside of the Oakland City Hall, emphasized the green economy's potential to create good jobs for working class men and women. To reach their goal, Oakland will convert to renewable fuels. They'll improve public transportation and turn to solar and wind power, with the IBEW handling the expertise and installation, of course. That's a lot of work over a lot of years. The IBEW welcomes 178 new Sears employees and 136 new technicians into the Brotherhood. Sears service and repair personnel in Denver and in Casper and Cheyenne, Wyoming, they were fed up. That's why they voted to make a change. They're now represented by Local 68, based in Denver, to help steer the ship in a better direction. Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. Klein is a name that is synonymous with the best handcrafted tools in the business. But they're also carving out quite a name for themselves in the IndyCar Racing Series. Dominic Giratano has more from Sonoma, California. At every stop in the IndyCar season, the main draw on race weekend is the IndyCar Series race. But before the big guns start their engines, the Indy Pro Series, a step below the Car Series, has its race. In the Pro Series and the Car Series, Klein Tools sponsors cars. But in the Pro Series, the sponsor-driver relationship is as tight as it gets. The owners of Klein Tools, Rick and Risa Klein, sponsor their son, Jonathan. He's just completed his first year on the circuit and did very well. Well, why don't we consider going on board with our Lucas Oil track lap with Jonathan Klein. And there he is. Then. This has really been the best year I've had in a car so far. Um, you know, we're second in points. I think after today's race, we're 12 or 13 out of the championship lead. You know, our plan as a team was, and me as a driver, was to just make sure I finish every race, get experience, learn as much as I can, and, and try to finish out the season in the top five. So to be second with two races to go in the series, you know, it's pretty exciting and we're all, you know, really pumped up to see what happens in the remaining races. Jonathan has a little more at stake when he hits the throttle, though, and he's proud of it. I'm just so thankful to, to Kim Green, Michael Andretti, and Kevin Savory. It's, it's, you know, the opportunity that they've given me is, is bar none the best I'll ever have. And, you know, with the help of fine tools, it's, it's great. I, I'm very proud to be able to drive that car and, you know, it's people's... People love the car, it looks great. You know, people are always saying, oh, you drive the Klein Tools car, that, that car is awesome. It looks sharp because of the decals. And one of those decals is the NJATC logo, and Jonathan knows all about it. You know, every person that I've met and spent time with from NJATC is here, and they're having a great time, they're excited about the racing. And you know, there's also a correlation in, in, in the people. You know, apprentices, they're, they're learning, they're gaining experience, and that's what I'm doing. I'm in the Indy Pro Series to learn and gain experience so that I can be an IndyCar driver for my career. And so there's that correlation where we can relate to each other like that, which is, you know, a good thing. The race at Infineon was the 15th stop in the 17 race season of the IndyCar Racing League. Understandably, the season gets pretty long when you get this far into it. When we asked how the team gets through it, we noticed a trend. Without teamwork, there would not be racing. Teamwork is a theme for Andretti Green, and it runs all the way to the top. Teamwork is, is very important in racing. Uh, no car is going to win on Sunday without a bunch of guys back at the shop doing their job, the guys in the pit doing their job, the driver doing their job, and, you know, the guys building the engines, this goes on and on. And then when you have such a big operation as Andretti Green, it increases even more. Motor racing in general is, is a team sport, and unless everybody works together, 
to get the best out of the race car and the driver and the crew, they're not going to be successful. The driver is the one that gets a lot of the credit, but the, uh, it is that whole team. It's those 100 guys we have back in Indianapolis, some of who come to the races, everybody counts. Well, I think that it's just everybody getting along, everybody having each other's back, I think, is really important. Having a team attitude at Andretti Green leads to success, and that was proven when they got in the winner's circle at the race we attended at Infineon Raceway. Jonathan Klein in third position. There is Klein in the Klein Tools machine in third spot here in the race. And if you listen to Michael Andretti, what he says probably will sound pretty similar to IBEW journeymen and their apprentices. You want your teammate to do as good as you. And that's very difficult to do, especially in our game. And, and, uh, if, but you know if you can do that, that it's going to come back to you. You're going to be better off by doing that. And you're going to have that guy helping you then. Once they start to believe in it, then, then you know, they see the results and it's like, you know, it's what you want. For Our Power, I'm Dominic Giratano. Oh, and by the way, Jonathan Klein, a rookie, finished second in points, only six-tenths of a second out of first. That's a heck of a way to start out a career. Hey, guys, on the IRL Car Series, look out. That's Jonathan Klein in your rearview mirror. You know, it seems the Las Vegas Strip is always changing, but soon it'll really look a lot different because construction on the $7 billion city center project has begun. It's the largest commercial construction project in North America to date, and it's a 24-hour job that right now provides work to 700 union construction professionals, and they're only four months into the project. It's located on a 66-acre site between the Bellagio and Monte Carlo hotels. At the peak of construction, there will be more than 7,000 workers on site, 3,000 of them by local unions. It's a four-year project, and when the IBEW workers get on the job, our power will tell you about it. That's it for News Briefs. I'm Vic Lombardi, here to remind you that we're here to tell your story. So help us out. Send us an email at mailbag at ourpower.com or click contact us on the homepage. Nothing's too small or too big here. If it's something you think other brothers and sisters would like to hear, that's exactly what we want. And we'll put it on the air. With that, so long. We'll see you next time on News Briefs. Thank you.